Today is November 15th, and this is the very peak, the very peak of the uh, estrus cycle for does. And experts, uh, myologists who have done the research on this, they've concluded that in the Midwest and really the upper two thirds of North America, the highest number of does are in estrus the very middle of November. That means that the bucks are tied down with the does. There's lots of bucks uh, not moving because they've got a doe and they they hole up with those does for one to two days before they um, move on to another one. Well, that takes them off the market. And we really saw that uh, two days ago on the 13th. And that'd be the very beginning of this lockdown phase or the lull in the rut that occurs right in the middle of November. And we were sitting in a tree stand, uh, glassing up on a ridge nearby, and there was a buck up there with a doe, and the doe wasn't moving, but every buck that's probably within a quarter of a mile of that area was in there uh, checking out the scene, trying to find a way to get the doe away from that buck. We saw seven different bucks go in there, and that older buck that was tending that doe would run each one of them out. He went or she went. And we were hoping that before the evening was over, they would end up down in the food plot uh, right next to the blind, or the tree stand rather. But um, when, when they left, they took off and ran around the side of the slope and were gone. And that day was just an example of how to hunt this phase. As challenging as it is, there is some hope, but you have to be where the does are at. You have to be where there's the possibility of a doe in estrus because that's where all the action's gonna be. The bucks aren't gonna be cruising much. Like I said, they're holed up with the does and it's pretty easy for them to find the next one. So you gotta spend more of your time hunting deeper in the cover. You know, in the evenings, it's not gonna work as well to hunt uh, closer to the food like you might have earlier in the rut. And the travel routes between the doe concentration areas aren't gonna be as good uh, now because the bucks just aren't traveling that much. So focus on the ridges, the bedding areas, the thicker spots uh, where the does might be holed up. Those are the places where the bucks are going to be looking for the next hot doe, but it's also, like I said, where they're going to be, where they're going to be holed up. Uh, so the whole game right now is just trying to be where the most does are uh, in the hopes that one of them is an estrus. White's Bowhunting Whitetails is brought to you by Day six arrows, redneck blinds, code of silence apparel, fuse archery, and Hoyt. This will all break uh, in a few more days. By about the 20th of November, we'll come out of this phase, this lockdown phase, and the bucks will start to move again. So we can talk about it when the time comes. But for now, just want to give you a quick tip and uh, give you a little midweek update here at Hoyt's Bowhunting Whitetails, and uh, hopefully you're having some action. It's a slow time, but if you're in the right place at the right time, it can be really good. Good luck.